Hi everyone, this is Mr. West. Today we're doing a tutorial video on three digit by two digit multiplication. This of course is from masterdrill.com. Tons of great resources. Make sure to check out the link in the description below. My understanding is that everyone watching this video knows how to do at least the standard algorithm with multiplication, okay? By single digit multiplication. What do I mean by that? I'm gonna go ahead and erase this seven and show you what I mean, okay? So we all have to go with the understanding that we know how to multiply something like this. So we have the, the two there, 435 times two. We're gonna just go ahead and take turns multiplying the two by all three of these digits. So five times two, 10, and then you carry the one, okay? So that represents 10, one, zero, that's one's place, 10's place, one, okay? So now we had to do two times three, that's six plus one is seven, and then we have two times four and that's eight, okay? But since this is by two digit multiplication, that's not all we're gonna do, okay? We're gonna have that seven there, pretty cool how we did that. Oh, I wanna keep that one there because you're gonna have that on your paper. Now we're going to the tens place, okay? So 72 represents 70 plus two, okay? So 70 plus two times 435. So 70, technically that has a zero at the end of it. So what we're gonna do here is anytime you move on to the tens place right here, we're gonna make another zero right there before we start multiplying, okay? So make sure to add that zero. That is a crucial step that a lot of people forget. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So seven times five now, we can go ahead and start now that we have the zero. So seven times five is 35. Carry the three, we have seven times three is 21, plus three, 24. Carry the two, seven times four, 28, and then we have 30. So now we're just going to add. Like I said, we have to add those two results. So if we have this as 435 times two, that's what we just showed you the first time, and I said, you know, I erased the seven. And then we have 435, and this is really times 70, and we made sure that we didn't forget this guy, that seven, that zero. Um, now we can add the two together, just like we know that 70 plus two, these two sums need to add together to give us 72. So we're gonna add these, okay? Seven plus five, 12, that eight for 13, one, one, three. So 3,000, sorry, 31,320 is gonna be our answer for that one, okay? So make sure to include that zero, that's the crucial step, and then you're gonna be solid, okay? So we're gonna repeat that process for number two. So number two, again, we're gonna start with the ones place. We're gonna just go four times five, 20, okay? And we're gonna carry those uh, second digits up, four times uh, two, eight, 10, after we add, and then four times uh, uh, three is 12, plus one is 13. Okay, and then we move on to the tens place. That represents 50, so we need to make sure we put the zero down first, and then we can go ahead and start and multiply by normal, or normally. So we have five times five, 25, five times two, 10, 12, five times three, 15, 16, and now we're just going to add the two numbers together, okay? So we have zero, five, five, seven, one. 17,550 for this answer, okay? So, it's pretty straightforward process. The main thing is we cannot forget that zero. Okay, I'm gonna keep saying it. So let's go ahead and go on to this number. What is this? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, this one. So what happens if we have a zero here? Okay, my suggestion is even if it's a zero, go ahead and just multiply it. And you'll see what I mean, okay? So zero times five, zero. Zero times zero, zero. And then zero times nine, zero. That's my suggestion, okay? Even though you're kind of like wasting a little bit of time just rewriting the zeros, I would re go ahead and rewrite those so that you know when you go over to the next unit over the eight, you remember to put the zero down before multiplying, okay? Because I'm gonna tell you what, when people do that eight times five and, and they get 40, Oftentimes they're like, oh, I already have the zero there from the 40, so I just carry this, your 10, and then they get like that, and they, they screw it up that way, okay? So don't do that, you still need another zero down, okay? So eight times five is 40, I write the second zero, then carry the four, eight times zero is zero plus four is four, and then eight times nine is 72. So it should look like that instead, okay? So then we add these two together, and of course we're just gonna get 72,400. So really we don't need to do anything with that zero. The only thing we have to remember is put the second, uh, for the second line, put that zero down 
for the tens place. That's really just the main thing. But again, my suggestion, go ahead and just rewrite those zeros so you don't screw it up. Okay, so we're gonna move on. I wanna do two more and to show you, uh, there's a little trick to kind of remember or to keep track of uh, self-check um, with a certain digit. So we're gonna go ahead and do this one. So we have one times four and then eight and then two, okay? Uh, I'm gonna do something here. I wanna see if you can catch what I do uh, incorrectly. So I move on to the next one. I have eight times four, 32. Uh, that's a three. Then I have eight, 64, 67 when I add three there. Eight times two, 16, add two, uh, sorry, add six, and that is, sorry, 16 plus two, that's 22. Okay, got it there. Okay, so do you guys notice anything wrong with what I wrote? I hope you do, because what I did is I forgot to write the zero. It changes the problem completely. Imagine if we had just added those digits together, we'd get a number that's around 2,500, okay? Right around 2,500. But if we move this over, we're gonna get a much bigger answer, and that's what it should be. It should be a big answer. So now we're gonna add these together. So we got four plus zero, four. Then we got 10, carry. Then we got another 10, carry and three, and then a two. So 23,004 should be our answer, not about 2,500. Okay, big difference there, don't forget the zero. Now, what I said something earlier about self-check. The self-check I'm talking about is anytime you have that one, you have a one that you're multiplying, you're gonna get the same number rewritten. Okay, so 284, 284, because you're just multiplying by one. So you're gonna see that number repeat, and that's a good self-check. If you had like 287 or something, you know, that's that's a problem, obviously. So let's go ahead and move on to the last question I want to do, which is this one. You'll notice we're multiplying by another one here. Okay, so see that we have uh, one that we're multiplying by. But let me show you how that works. So first, we need to start off with the ones digit. Okay, the ones place. First, not the ones digit, one place. So we have 5 times 5, 25. 2, if we, let's see, we get 2, and then we get 10. Okay, moving on to the ones place. Don't forget the zero. Okay, we're moving on to the tens place. The one that really, really represents 10 and 10 plus 5. Okay, so that's 10 that we're working with, not just one. So we need to put the zero down. One times five, five. I know I'm saying that a lot, but I really want you guys to remember. Okay, so we have five times one, five, and then zero, then two. Okay, so notice this. We had a 205 written there, and we have 205 written there. The only difference is that extra zero, okay? So that's our self-check. If we have a one that we're multiplying by, we're gonna see the same number written again. So now I'm just gonna add five, seven, zero, three, and I'm done, okay? And that's how you do three digit by two digit multiplication. That's all there is to it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you need help on any other math drills video, I have a whole playlist on math drills. Make sure to check that out. Uh, if you have any other questions, any other topic, leave a comment. And either way, I look forward to seeing you right here next time on West Explains Best.